pharmacologic therapies for fibromyalgia or centralized pain. The three classes of drugs that seem to be most effective are tricyclic drugs, which would include amitriptyline and cyclobenzaprine. A low dose of cyclobenzaprine is one of my favorite drugs for fibromyalgia, two and a half, five milligrams, 7.5 milligrams of cyclobenzaprine a couple hours before bedtime can be really helpful. The serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, the ones that are more noradrenergic, like milnasopran and duloxetine, seem to be more effective. And then the gabapentinoids, such as pregabalin and gabapentin, these drugs can be quite helpful. They're probably working, at least in part, by helping improve sleep. And one of the things you should know about these drugs is you often can get, by just using a single nighttime dose of these drugs rather than giving them two to three times a day, and often that will have the same beneficial effect with less of the side effects we see with other drugs. Other drugs for fibromyalgia include tramadol, older, less selective SSRIs, gamma-hydroxybutyrate, low-dose naltrexone. The body's own endogenous opioid system or internal opioid system is hyperactive in people with fibromyalgia. We should be blocking the endogenous opioid system in people with conditions like fibromyalgia, not giving them opioids. We actually might likely be making conditions like fibromyalgia worse by giving someone an opioid. We've historically focused on the fact that opioids don't make people better, but there's a lot of evidence and it continuing to emerge that a lot of individuals with chronic pain that are giving opioids that develop opioid-induced hyperalgesia and their pain is literally made worse by that class of drugs, not simply not made better. And we actually know that a lot of the neurotransmitters that control pain and sensory transmission are out of balance in conditions like fibromyalgia. Some of the neurotransmitters that increased pain and sensory sensitivity, like glutamate, substance P, and nerve growth factor, are too high in conditions like fibromyalgia. Other neurotransmitters that decrease pain and sensory sensitivity like norepinephrine, serotonin, GABA are too low. Why it's really complicated to give someone an opioid to treat chronic pain, the longer people take opioids, the more the body adjusts to those opioids. People become tolerant to the opioids. They develop opioid-induced hyperalgesia, and it's almost impossible to get a lot of these patients off opioids, not because they're working well, but because they become dependent on the opioid, and it's permanently changed the way their endogenous opioid system works. This study is a particularly cautionary tale. We did PET with carfentanil, which is a highly potent opioid, at the same time as we did functional MRI in people with fibromyalgia, and it looked as though these individuals with fibromyalgia are overproducing endogenous opioids like endorphins and enkephalins in brain regions, and that might be driving the worsening of fibromyalgia. You should be particularly careful with giving individuals with fibromyalgia an opioid because, again, you may not just not make it better, you may make it worse. The drugs you should be using for nociplastic pain right now are low doses of tricyclic drugs given at bedtime, serotonin, norepinephrine, reuptake inhibitors, and gabapentinoids.